morning to you all out there. Saturday today, heading off tomorrow, Sunday. Ridiculous, ridiculous, like, get the words out, you stupid man. Ridiculous o'clock to Celsi. Um, and I, being an ex-military person, like a few of you out there, I was reflecting on the, uh, the Queen. And I remember all those many, many years ago, the Oath of Allegiance that I had to give, which went along the lines of, um, I swear by Almighty God um, to be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II. And then there was a load more about her heirs and whatever. But whatever our view is of the monarchy, um, good or bad, she was a remarkable lady. And I just want to give her a big shout out and a cheers to Queen Elizabeth II. Morning. Morning. How are you? Very well. It's going to be a bit foggy. A little bit. <laughs> oh well. It's a good thing because it means it's going to be still. One hopes. And you got your lucky shirt on. Yeah, lucky shirt. <laughs> Skill. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's load the car. It's clearer now. Okay. morning to you all out there now we are here so we're at Selsey we're near the lifeboat station Dave I can see just hoving into view armed with loads of black lug and it's going to be a good day today and he's already had a bream um, seas calm tides coming in light gentle breeze and all to play for so let's crack on How are you? I'm all right, mate. I'm all right. My favourite train driver. <laughs> <laughs> have that. that. That's a fair swap. Have yeah, that. No, you. that's well. Dave, you pumped these, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, Dungeness. Dungeness? Uh, yeah, Dim Church. Kind of. Dim, Dim Church. Dim Church, yeah. Dim Church, Black Lug. Travelled all the way down here for how long did it take you to get here? Uh, about two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. So, you, remind me, you've never caught Bream, have you? No, that's what I'm going out and out for today. I'm going to throw a cod rig out later. You never know, there might be a cod rig. Well, they've out. been catching them. I've been looking on Facebook and they've been catching them all along here. Yeah, it's more near high tide. I'm yeah. Sure. So once the current gets running, but um, no, we'd really appreciate it, Joe. Oh. Rigs today. Um, very simple. Two hook scratch rig rig, which I've made up. Um, two up. I've got a strip of squid on here. Size eight hooks, so small hooks. Long shank. Dave very kindly dug those. They look brilliant. So um, hopefully, I'm probably going to use a cut in half, I have to say. And uh, then on this one, I've got one up, size eight, another one up, size eight, with a whole black lug on, and then drop down on a sliding ledger, a big bait single hook, um, lots of wasps around today. I have a wasp attached to it. And um, let's sling these out. Andy is now up to three, and I think he's now up to four. It looks like he's reeling something in. He's a jammy sod, isn't he? My excuse is I've only just started fishing because I've been doing all the other old palaver. But let's brush this out and then um, we'll see if we can catch a few. Always the pressure, isn't there, the first cast. So, big bait on that one. Get the other one out. 
Right, so we've got one out far and one a little closer in. Andy has done it again. Let's get out there. Uh, yeah, so we got you in the sun. So that's getting a bit, bit better. Yeah. Well, shows are out there. Yeah. Um, How's my week been? Well, it's been uh, interesting as ever with mother-in-law. Um, <laughs> and uh, my wife, I was chatting to her the other evening. My, as a few of you know, my daughter's now back from Dubai. And she's had a couple of relationships with idiots. And we were debating as to what she should be looking for in a man, or my wife and my daughter were. And my wife turned around to my daughter and she went, well, what you need is you need somebody like Dad. And I'm thinking, yeah, hey, here I am. And um, I was thinking, you know, I'm a finely chiselled old bloke. And then she turned around to my daughter and she said, yeah, you, you, you need somebody like Dad who's a bit of a geek. <laughs> I thought, hold on a minute. A bit of a geek. She went, well, yeah, you are. I said, well, give me an example. So she did, and she gave me several. One of them is I like identifying fungi. That is my latest obsession. And I have an app that does that. And my rods mysteriously are not doing a lot. And no doubt Andy's will shortly again putting him on six. I think it was for volume of fish today. He's definitely going to win hands down, um, as he always does. But as I've alluded to before, my excuse is I'm doing all this filming stuff. And that's kind of people ask me, why do I do it? Well, one of the reasons is I like making films, which I suppose appeals to the geek in me. And I do like a bit of fishing as well. And I think as long as you get joy out of a bit of each then you won't stop doing it and there are one or two people out there who it saddens me have um, stopped making uh, videos because of many different reasons the idiots that are out there people are very quick to judge and you know make comment about oh you should be doing this but we're all different aren't we in our fishing styles um, that's kind of what makes a sport are you key Thanks Hello. for making the effort to come down. Yeah, That's a, no that, problem. That is a legion of a journey. <laughs> Fog, <laughs> yeah. everything on one <laughs> Well, nice to see you. That's Dave, the train driver. Andy Hi. is over there. Okay. He already has had six bream. Dave, the train driver, and Paul, we've had none. So <laughs> if I jump in here... You'll be fine. Have yeah. you ever caught bream? No. You haven't? Never had bream. So yeah, fingers right. crossed, let's hope you uh, break your duck. There is a small prize today. Okay. There is a small prize for either the biggest fish, and I will be the judge, okay. or the longest fish. Okay. So it could be a dogfish, or it could be a big bass. But what a nice man. He has come all the way from Walton on the Nays, one of my subscribers, and I cannot tell you how much that is appreciated by me. Um, yeah, makes me feel really happy on a Sunday. Whoa. Dave has broken his bream duck, which is brilliant. He's come all this way to catch himself that bream. How cool is that? That was a steamer of a bite, and it's gone a bit slack. That, I think, is the biggest one thus far. <laughs> right, let's get you off, fellow, and get you back in. Dave's excitement levels. <laughs> you could hear him in Folkestone. Ace, the smile says it all on Dave's face. How cool's that? Yeah, I can feel it on there. Right, that just, this rod just went wanging over. Bloody hell, I think it's swimming towards me. Come on, boy. Oh, yes. Another decent fish. Bloody hell. That is a steamer of the fish. Right, you. Um, I would normally keep something like this. 
but I haven't the heart today, I have to say. So you're going back in. You. That was exciting. Go on. Brilliant. <laughs> now, there's a few of you out there thinking, well, you should have kept that, you could have eaten it. Yeah, I suppose I could have done, but um, sometimes it's nice to be able to put them back. Well, the boats are all starting to come in now, so the big boats are coming in, and these are little tenders that are coming in with all the uh, fish that they've caught. Well, I'm winning the biggest fish so far, but I don't want to take the, uh, the prize, so it's going to have to go to somebody else. We have another species. <laughs> we have a ras. Yeah. Is that a ras? Yeah, yeah. Balan ras. Balan ras. Yeah. have to get that close enough to see it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, that's another fish. Okay. Can't knock it. I see you, you've, you've caught a few. Yeah, it, it, I caught like a proper one um so the biggest fish i'm winning but what i've got i can't really be taking home because my wife will go you're a cock <laughs> so <laughs> all words to that effect <laughs> what's she setting another rod up i suspect so because he, he's trying to swerve us he's going oh, I've he, been watching him, you know. he, he's, he's dodging you he's yeah well he is he, he's swerving us because he, he's come up to me and he's gone I'm going to win the trophy because I've now caught bream and a ras. Oh, right. So it's all about the amount of fish and the species. But ultimately, I am the judge. Dave is winning. Well, I better get these rods in. I think you better. So here is a very happy man. Never ever caught a bream before. Right. I'm going to be the judge and jury. You've edged ahead of Dave. You are now winning. The way to go. Yeah, no, well done, chat. That's brilliant. How do you feel? Right. No, marvellous. Get back in there. PB. PB Bream. Yeah, hey. About what? Pounding a bit. About that, yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. Fantastic. Brilliant stuff. Right, you will get a handshake on the camera. Thank you. Well done. No. Let's get in the gallery. Yeah, quick update. Um, Andy's on seven. Six Bream and a Ras. I've had three bream, one foul hooked, doesn't really count. Um, Dave's had a couple of bream. He was in the lead with the biggest one, but Keith, and I'm really chuffed for him, caught a banging fish. So um, he deserves it, I have to say, because he's come way, way, way to fish this beach. Andy, as you know, is one of my long time buddies. And uh, Dave's a more recent buddy, but he's a top bloke. And Keith, for all of you out there, and any of his friends who might watch this, Keith is a top bloke as well, as a lot of anglers generally are. Kind of all get rattled on together, don't we? A bit of a common, common cause to, you know, follow. Um, we all support each other, and it's been really, really nice to be down here. My head was getting a bit jumbled, I have to say, over the last several weeks with, you know, stress of life. So I'm indeed fortunate to be able to come down and share the beach with these nice chaps. And Ross, if you're watching fellow, hope your stay in Greece was pretty good. Ross has been away back home since, well, for quite a few months now. Um, and I think he's back at the end of September. So it'd be good to see him on the beach again. And, yeah, his laconic humour, his Stella and his croissant. What a good combination that is. Um, but I do miss him, I have to say. Andy oh. is now showing off. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think you've got the species, haven't you? Yeah. You've got the gurnard, the bream and the rats. Yes. Oh, that's cool. I've put them back in your specific tank. Yeah, I'd, I'd put them in front of me. <laughs> So another little bream for me. Uh, we'll get him unhooked and get him back in. 
and not a bad bream for Andy. We'll get him. So I have a bite on the nearest rod that you can see. That's definitely a bite. Go on, do it again. Yep, there's something grabbing there. Whoa! Well, we've got something on here, it feels. Whoa! God, bloody hell, that's a decent gurnard. That's pretty cool. But still not big enough. What do you mean not big enough? His, his feet's yours. <laughs> still does. Yeah. Well done. Dave, who's never ever caught a gurnard, has now caught a gurnard. How cool is that? So this is a first for Dave. There we go. Dave's a train driver, three PBs, Bream, Rath, and Gurnard, and he's never caught any of them in 30 odd years of fishing. Well chuffed for him. So another steamer of a bite and another steamer of a Bream. <laughs> Such beautiful things. Right, little bream, get you back in. As you can see the bream, there he goes. It's brilliant to be able to put them back, I have to say. Well chuffed. My rod, as you can see, has just gone bonkers. Right, let's reel that in and see what we got. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. A it's a codling. That is just bonkers. <laughs> That's just oh, madness. Wow. Oh, and that, and that's great. Look at that. He'll obviously go back in. He's not big enough to keep, but uh, yeah, that's just ace. That's made my year. <laughs> that's really made this trip now, hasn't it? Look at that. That is just bonkers. And it gave such a good little bite, like bam, 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 bam bite. Right, I'm going to get you to take a photo, Dave, and then uh, we'll get him back in. Oh, for sorry, my to you all out there in uh, YouTube land, um, Dave, the train driver, has never, ever, ever caught Bream, have you? Or Gurnard. Or Gurnard. Or Rass. Yeah, so, yeah, he hit all three today, so well done. He was leading with the largest fish. I've had the biggest fish, but it would be unfair. And he's had the most fish, as usual, and it would be unfair. But Keith has come all the way from bloody miles away, haven't you? How long did it take you to drive down there? Just under three hours. Three, oh, bloody hell. So, Keith, he's ex-army. He's going to win, isn't he, really? Whatever happened, he was going to win. Favouritism. Yeah. <laughs> so, Keith caught the biggest bream. He was in the same regiment as me, although the bit I was in, the battalion was better than his. It was. It was, yeah. The people were more intelligent. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, um, personal best bream. Personal best, yeah. First bream ever. First bream. Quite it, you caught a few others, didn't you? I've had a couple more, yeah. Yeah. A couple more brew. Well, I'm going to shake your hand. Thank you very much. And you have won, and this is like one of them blankety blank prizes. Oh, is that right? Yeah, like Check a crap and checkbook and pen. <laughs> this is better. This is not many people have this. Your grandchildren, when you are long gone, will have this, and they'll think, "My <laughs> God, this is worth a few bob." Yeah. Yeah. So basically it says, Sea Fishing with Paul, Sunday the 11th of September, heaviest fish winner. That is you. Get in there. You have got something to go back and put on your mantelpiece. So well done, Thank chap. It's much. really made me happy. I was kind of agitating that Dave and you'd come down here and we'd catch nothing and then I'd look an idiot. 
So um, I'm really you. I'm really chuffed for you, I have to say. Um, there will be a nice morning. No, it's yeah. been great. There will be next time, Dave. But there you go. Thank All you yours. Very much, sir. No, enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> no, no. Thank you. It's been really, really cool to see the smiles on these blokes' faces. It's made me morning, chat. Really good. Lovely to meet you and all that jazz. Yeah. So, we're at the end of another day. Um, it's been a beezer. I think it's been the best day I've had this year. So, all of us have caught fish. Uh, we fished the tide in. We fished two hours out. It's weedy now. Um, bites are kind of dropping off. So I'm going to wend my way home for the next couple of hours. Um, I can't believe I caught a codling. I've, and for me to catch it, I mean, normally it would be Andy. So I'm well buzzed up and we've had a stormer of a day. Really chuffed for Dave, really chuffed for Keith. Great to meet Keith. Big up Keith. Big up the Queen's 2nd and the 1st Battalion. Um, so to all of you, as ever, look after yourselves, take care. The old bloke will be out again, um, probably not next weekend, although I might do. I've got my son coming over from Poland, so I might be going out next weekend. I'll see if I can swear the day down here, um, maybe on the Sunday. So until then, look after yourselves, and um, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. <laughs>